The Board of Education of the Fayetteville Manly Central School District has tried to be a good steward of the facilities and about every two years they engage in a smaller capital project of about nine to twelve million dollars to address those needs to maintain the physical plant. The Building Condition Survey has identified three of our buildings, Wellwood, Enders Road, and the High School is needing the most attention regarding uh, the mechanicals and the behind the scenes infrastructure that is so important to make a conducive learning environment. Anytime the district is going to do work in our building, asbestos is always an issue. Um, obviously safety is always our number one concern and the district takes that very seriously but that's always a concern for me. What are we going to get into with you know tiny projects, the, wire, the, the wireless project they weren't able to, to install wireless hubs in our classroom because asbestos was an issue and obviously that work has to be put on hold when students are here because we would never put students at risk. If you have the opportunity to talk with students or staff, I think um, while they believe the high school is a wonderful environment to be, there are definitely some areas of improvement. And one of them has always been heating and cooling within the facility. Um, I was a teacher here a number of years ago and I remember walking in on a Monday morning and finding frost on the inside of our, my classroom windows. So, you know, it's very difficult to concentrate on what's going on in the classroom, the academic piece, when you're worried about being too cold or too hot, uh, asking your teacher if you can go grab your jacket because um, you're a little bit too cold. And, and then the inconsistencies, you know, we might have some rooms that are very, very warm and other rooms that are very, very cold. Well, although we're very proud of Enders Road and the school that we have here, there are certainly some things with our facility that impact teaching and learning on a daily basis. Um, some examples are heating, ventilation system, the air conditioning. The blowers for that are so loud uh, that it, it makes it very difficult for the students to hear the teacher, the teacher to hear the students. So that certainly impacts that teaching and learning, and particularly for quieter students, I think it's very difficult for them, or students that have a, a processing difficulty, it's, it's challenging. School here, the way that it was constructed, unfortunately, it's very susceptible to having our pipes freeze. And so because of that, we have to run the water throughout the winter, sometimes 24 hours a day, paying a custodian to be here weekends and evenings if it's really cold. Going forward, it's gonna be incumbent upon the school district to communicate with the stakeholders to let them know the scope of the projects, what we're attempting to address in each of the capital projects so that they can make an informed decision in terms of the breadth and uh, depth of the projects and all of our buildings.